Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and welcome to another Eastwood video series where we are taking this Mustang and we are painting it from start to finish. In this video, we're showing you how to get the jams ready, and we're going to spray the jams. We're going to apply a epoxy primer, then we're going to apply base coat and clear coat. And what we're doing now is we're just cleaning the jams because it's very important to clean it before you tape. Because if there's uh, some dirt or something on the inside of those jams, we're going to be masking to the inside flange of all these flanges. If it's dirty, the tape's not going to stick. So it's important to get some wax and grease remover. We're using this Eastwood uh, aerosol can cleaner. And it cleans real well. Then when you put the tape on, it's going to stick. You don't have to worry about it popping off when you're spraying paint. So we're going around making sure that everything is good and clean. And now Patrick's showing them here how to mask to the inside of that flange. And basically what we're doing, we're going to go around all these flange edges around the doors, the uh, deck lid area, and the hood. And we're going to back mask. Basically just mask them to the back of those and leaving the sticky side up. And that will give us something to stick the paper to here in a little bit to cover the insides from getting paint on them. So we're going around doing that, uh, making sure we have everything masked off. And now we've got it all masked off. And you see that I've also put some uh, cross pieces in there just to help support the paper. I mean, you might can get by without doing that, but it's just a little added support that when the air pressure hits it, you know, it's not going to blow off. So I just like putting that web in there just to help support the paper. So we're going to go around, and what we're doing is just masking all the... You know, we're sticking the paper to those that tape edge and cutting it and, and making sure that, you know, that we're not going to get paint on the inside because the last thing you want is to have overspray, you know, get on your interior and parts that you don't want it. So it takes a little time. Another thing about doing jams is uh, really the, the, the only way you can do it good, proper, is you have to have everything off like this. Notice we have the doors off, the hood off, the deck lid off. Everything is disassembled. And uh, we'll have to paint the inside of those parts later, at a later time. But we're just showing you how to do the, the, the body jams at this point. But yeah, have everything disassembled. Have it, We've already sanded and prepped it, cleaned it real good, back mask, and now we're just masking it off. Again, you can see that I'm wiping on it some more. I mean, you can never clean enough with, with paint work. I mean, it's just a constant making sure everything's clean because you want things to stick good like the tape and, you know, you don't want to wax the silicones, things like that. And you can also see that I'm coming to the edge of the panels and masking that as well. And what we're going to do there, we're going to mask the panels off so we don't get overspray on it. Now, you could let, allow some of the overspray to get on the, like the quarter panel there or whatever. Then you just have to sand it off. But we've already got this thing sanded. So the way we decided to do it for this car Let's just go ahead and mask the car off so we don't have to deal with that later. So now I'm basically just outlining the panels so that we can stick paper to that here in a little bit. Any type of paint work, you know, there's a lot of masking involved. It just, uh, you know, that's the time consuming part. And we've also got this in a, you know, fast forward, you know, take a long time to, to go through all this, more time than you'd probably be willing to watch. You know at regular speed so this kind of gives you an overview of what we did you know, without cutting or editing a lot out and you kind of have an idea of, of the steps that we took and now we're play, uh, placing paper you know on the panels the glass you know the things that we don't want overspray on so basically all that's going to be exposed when we're done is going to be the jams themselves now we're getting the roof You know, some days it feels like you move slow. It really would be awesome, you know, if we could move this fast and, and uh, get things done at this rate. But, you know, this type of work, you know, it's just time consuming, takes a while. You got to have patience and just know that you're not going to do it, you know, have everything done in an hour or whatever. When you go into this type of work, you just got to realize it's going to take time and, you know, take a breath and, and, and uh, you know, allow for that. Getting in a hurry or trying to cut corners. You know, it's just not going to pay off in the end and you're going to, you know, have things you're going to have to redo and probably end up taking more time redoing than just doing it right the first time.
Okay, now we're just checking it, make sure it is all masked properly and we're not going to get overspray on the insides. Looking it over real good. Okay, now here we are cleaning again because we're just about to get ready to spray. And we're using Eastwood's cleaner to make sure that, that the jams are clean, free of silicone, greases, dirt, things like that. Because that's, uh, that's your an enemy uh, when painting. You know, you don't want any, any silicones. That will cause fish eyes and, you know, other problems. So get rid of all the, all the contaminants. Alright, now I'm going to show you a little uh, trick and like for uh, wiring harnesses and things like this, they're hard to mask. If you get them masked off, it takes forever to unmask. But for things like this, you know, fuel lines, wires, things like that, aluminum foil works really, really good. Uh, all you do is get the aluminum foil and you wrap it around the wire harness or, or whatever it is and you just kind of squeeze it around there, form it to the shape that you're needing. And the, the, the coolest thing about this is Whenever you're done, you just pull it and it comes right off. So this is a this is a really a time-saving tip here to use aluminum foil, foil for these type of things. So we're getting that wire and harness, and of course we'll do the one on the other side as well. And uh, this saves a lot of time. It's quick, easy, and again, unmasking is very simple as well. I don't know if you've ever wrapped something up in tape like this, but you know it's not taping it up that takes all the time. It's getting all that tape off. It takes forever. So this is really a time-saving tip whenever unmasking. Okay, now Becca is getting the, we're going to spray it with epoxy. We're going to put one coat of epoxy primer on it. And this specific Eastwood uh, epoxy primer, you know, it mixes one-to-one. -one. We're using a, uh, a cup there. And uh, what one-to-one -one means is just one part primer, epoxy primer, to one part catalyst. And this cup will give you that ratio. And she's getting it mixed up now, and now she's getting the catalyst and going to put that in. And whenever we're done, it'll be mixed one-to-one. -one. Uh, you can also use a scale. There's, they've got these mixing cups that you can use that has the measurements on it come in handy. If you have a mixing scale, you can use that as well. Okay, she got it mixed up. Now we're going to stir it real good and uh, pour it in the gun and this is the Eastwood gun that we're using here uh, we had real good luck with it this first time we've used it so uh, getting it all ready we're in the prep booth got the fans on and now I'm just gonna test the gun make sure it's shooting right uh, these are first-year students this is their first project to really work on so still kinda helping them out with uh, adjusting the guns and things like that so I'm gonna spray a little bit just to kind of uh, give an example and uh, then I'll let Becca start spraying. And again, this gun found it to work real well. You know, it does not cost a lot. I'll uh, put a link down in the description about it so you can learn more about it if you want to. But um, now Becca's just going around the car, and we're going to put one coat in this uh, epoxy primer. I found it to cover real well. And epoxy is basically, you know, it's a good primer to use as a sealer, like we're using it. You know, just to seal off all the old paint. And we're using black because we're going to paint the car black. And also, if you got any bare metal, works excellent for over bare metal as well. Okay, going around the door here, got this in regular speed, uh, so you can see a little bit better. And the thing about these uh, jams, you know, it's a little bit harder than just spraying the outside of the car because there's so many different angles you got to cover. I mean, there's there's a lot of angles. If you don't catch all those angles, there's going to be light spots, or it's going to be dry, or if you get it too heavy, there's going to be runs. So jams are, you know, they can be uh, they can be touchy. But Becca has done an excellent job up to this point, and uh, she's doing a good job of getting these this epoxy sprayed on there. 
Okay, now we uh, we got that all sprayed, and we've mixed up some base coat now, some Eastwood base coat, and now we are spraying this with a base coat. Just testing out, make sure it's all spraying right. Now Becca's got a hold of the gun, and she's going to go around the car spraying all these jams with base coat. And we're going to put two coats of base on the car, base coat. Again, like I just mentioned, you know, they're small areas, but a lot of angles. And you got to make sure that your gun, you know, has the right angle on it, you know, that you're holding it right to get all these different angles. Getting up in, you know, in the front of the hood, you know, where the hood goes, getting those jams, the door jams, and the deck lid jams. And again, I said we'll have to paint all the, you know, the doors and hoods inside of all those at a later time. Okay, we've got one coat, and uh, what I did mention earlier is you want to let allow these to flash. We're not putting them on back to back. We put the epoxy on, and we let it set for 30 minutes to an hour, and then we put a coat of base coat on, let it set for about 10-15 minutes, and now we're putting the second coat of base coat on there. Uh, this paint is covering excellent. You know, we had the black epoxy, and of course the paint is black, and it covers real good. Two coats is going to be all you need. It's covering real well. And I'll put some information about these products down in the description. And, uh, you know, I'll put a little bit more information there and, and uh, might put some links that you can learn more about it. But I found up to this point, you know, the, the, the Eastwood products, you know, I haven't used a lot of their their paints you know, or their guns, but, you know, I found them to work good. They're working well for us. The gun is a 1.4. I normally use a 1.3, but this one came in a 1.4, but it's working good. Now Becca's just going around the car making sure all the jams are covered. And now we're going to apply clear coat. And getting the gun set, make sure it's set right. And now we're going to go around the car and apply two coats of clear coat. So here I am getting all around the, the deck, air, deck lid area, you know, where the the jams you know for the that area and then I'll, again I'll go around the whole car I'm going to do this two times and I want to get this the door openings and the hood opening and see another good thing about that foil you know I can move it around I can get it pick it up hold move it around and you know it makes it real convenient for spraying around it you know if I give you one tip that's going to save you time that's probably it is you know in the right areas that aluminum foil you know that really works well you know if you do a lot of restoration you got fuel lines wiring harnesses you know just that sort of thing man it really it really save you a lot of time now I'm, I've applied the first coat now I'm going around and applying the second coat of clear coat So I'm going to go ahead and apply this second coat of clear, and uh, basically that's it for this video. You know, put one coat of epoxy, two coats of base coat, two coats of clear coat. Then when we're done, we'll unmask it and the jams will be painted. A lot of work, got to take all the panels off, but it'll be well worth it when the job is done. But anyway, I really appreciate you watching this video. I know it was a little bit long on this one, you know, trying not to cut things out so you can kind of see the process. And I know it's probably a little bit choppy because we're moving so fast, but I didn't want to, you know, if we went regular speed, it'd take forever. So I hope you did appreciate this video. And I would appreciate it if you would uh, share this with your friends, like the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.